Now, with these storms, of course, wildfires are keeping a very close eye on the risk for new wildfires. Meteorologist Matt Gray has been keeping track of our lightning in the region, and uh, you've had your hands full today. There's been a, a lot of it already, but oh, especially yeah. yesterday. Yeah, and especially yesterday, and this is going to be a whole week where we're going to see lots and lots of lightning. So we got an update to the strike counter right now. We've had about 60 so far since this morning, and we are just getting started as we've got some overnight thunderstorms thunder and lightning on the way for us as well. As you can see, this map is really going to fill in as the night goes on. So yesterday, oh my goodness, our friends in Oregon, over 5,000 lightning strikes with a little bit uh, on the side there in Washington. And this in the Northwest Coordination Area Center yesterday, which covers Washington and Oregon, over 5,000 strikes. And as a result of this, 92 new fires broke out yesterday. Thankfully, no major fires yet. As this storm system that we're watching moves up the coast, that lightning threat you can see in these red splotches here, that's going to move more and more from Oregon into our part of the world here in the inland northwest, especially in North Idaho. North Idaho, you're likely going to see periods of lightning all the way through Friday. You have the highest fire danger in our region right now. They are in the Idaho Panhandle, and that's not it either. The ability for lightning to start fires in the inland northwest, because how dry we've been recently, well, that's the highest of anywhere in the lower 48 states right now, those red pixels. As high as one out of every five lightning strikes, could light up whatever they end up hitting. And even after the storms pass, there's a risk of what we're calling holdover fires as we head into the weekend. These are smoldering undetected lightning strikes that could blow up into bigger fires during more unfavorable weather when it gets hot and dry again. We've got not one, but potentially two rounds of hot weather in the next 10 days and coming up in your first alert forecast. Chris is going to show you when we're expecting that heat to come around again. Thank you, Matt.